Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the city of uh, Sakara. Yes, um, I will remember eventually. So, last episode, uh, we did actually, first of all, we finished uh, Salima Oasis. But the big thing we did was lay out a plan for this city. And I think, let's see, one, two, should start there. I'm gonna say land there. I believe, is this? Yep, that's the right distance apart. I'm gonna run this down. Okay. Water supplies. Well, that's... Let me see here. Right. This is... A tiny bit frustrating right here. I'm feeling like... Hmm... If we... Go one more space over... And maybe start here. Because the problem is this area is all going to be farmland, hopefully. I don't, I don't think having it this far out. We tested it a bit last episode and it seems like having it this far away from... I don't even know it's, it's the distance. Having more of the actual building's tiles on the actual meadow area makes it have a higher fertility. So I'm thinking something like that is probably not a good idea, right? We might put it there just to see because I'm not actually sure how the, um, I just had a butt brain fart. What, 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 what am I saying? Oh. The, uh, the, the, the irrigation. I'm not sure how these work. Like, if, if we have a farm over here and it has like 2% um, fertility, then we run a irrigation ditch to it. Does that make up for it? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. But the main thing we're doing first off is, is getting a water supply. Now. I just had a bit of a realization. These are 3x3s. Three which means that with 2x2, two two, or the, the two wide roads, we can have one on either side and there is a single space in the middle. Which could be used for the irrigation to go straight down these. Is that better? Or, because we also fiddled with this this idea last episode, or do we do it like this and have one and then one in the middle and then the other going across straight like this and then with a road? Because the one in the middle needs it road access. So we would have to do it that way, and then we could do, like, row of farms, road, row of farms, road, right? Just, you know, farms, road, farms, road, farms. Uh, it wouldn't quite be like that, would it? Because it could be farms, then road, then farms, then farms again, then their road and farms. The problem with that is I'm not sure how the irrigation works because I don't know if it propagates through the farm itself. If it propagates through the farm, the water from the irrigation ditch propagates through the farm, then then this area here, say, say we put farms straight across, 
you know, a row of three, and then have the road next to that, and then have farms again. If we run irrigation t farms here, and then have an irrigation ditch going under the road from the farms here, under this road, to the farms here, will the water propagate through? I don't know. If it does, then that would be a great way to do it. If it doesn't, then I think we're going to have to do... Not necessarily have to, but we're probably going to want to do... Either side, and then irrigation down the middle. So actually, maybe the... Um, 2x2 two two roads are not such a big deal. Oh... Can we get... Oh, the 2x2 two two roads don't l allow irrigation to go under them. Hmm... Okay. So we're gonna have to have 1x1 one one roads down in here... Going this way at some point. These, these, the 2x2s two can't go the whole way. Okay, that's fine. I think we can manage that. I, I, I don't... I shouldn't just... Shouldn't just put a road willy-nilly. Okay. We're going to start off with... That. Right there. And we're going to do housing here. Um, I said last episode that I was just going to put a singular house in each 3x3 three three plot of land that's going to be allocated for that house. I might not actually do that to start with because that's... I feel like we're gonna need a lot of people to start with, and that might get to be uh, not a good di good idea long term or medium short. I don't know. I don't. I, I. I don't. I don't think that is gonna work especially well to start with. Let's see here. By the way. I just had a thought. What sort of size? Hmm. Hmm, that's a little awkward. Because it's a 4x4. Four four. But it's not that awkward because it's is because it doesn't have to attach to the road, so it does need to be able to can I think we can just do that and it'll be able to fit just fine. Yeah. It only extends three this way, out from the road. Do we plan for that? I feel like we probably should plan for that. Okay. This is a two... This bit of road might not be enough. We might actually loop this one around. Because... If we want 3x3 three three houses, we need a lot of things going to those 3x3 three three houses, right? So, yeah. Do we put this just opposite that? I feel like to start with, that's fine. And if that's going to take up 4... We can assume that we can just put this here, which is not the same size, but we could put it here. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll work that out. Do we put the house right next to the pavilion? I, I feel like we probably could. I don't see why not. Yeah. And then there's the pavilion, and then that's... That's not right. There. And that's kind of denoting the size of the 3x3 three three without spending too much money on this. 
Right. Something like that. This isn't actually connected to the Kingdom Road, is it? Um... You know, I'm gonna take it from there. Ooh. You know what, actually? We could take that from there, and that gives us the ability, that's not what I want, to put pavilion there, pavilion there, and then have a roadblock right smack in the middle. And we can ignore that, or get rid of it. And instead put the, uh, the what's it here. There. Does that seem vaguely sensible? I don't know, maybe? Oh, this, this, this does actually need to be connected to the rest of the... Okay, um... Let me just, let me just... I'll just, I'll just attach it here for now. Because the, the, the... Oh, they don't need road access. What? I thought they did. I thought it needed to connect. Okay, well, whatever. I did, I, I expected them to come from up here because we're way up here. Sakara, wouldn't wouldn't you expect them to be coming from Mennefer? I don't know, maybe not. Well, I I guess maybe not actually because the um, okay, this area is probably just open desert going across here, so they'd probably like take the river somewhere over here, cross over, and then go that way maybe. I don't know, I'm probably just overthinking this. I'm probably overthinking this, really. If you watched last episode, I'd say that the, the entire thing was... Uh, consisted entirely of overthinking. I'm gonna want this sort of stuff. I don't want to build in the ear too much, because this... Yeah, 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 shut up. How far that way are we going? Probably not much farther than this for the houses. Because if we're going to use this outcrop for mining specifically, well, I mean, I guess it's quarrying. Quarrying and mining are actually different things. But the quarries over here, then I think that will... If we put a house here, I feel like that's going to be too close. So let's, let's assume that this is about as far, and I'm going to leave, like, a temple-sized buffer. So we're gonna put it there. One, two, three, there. Fire and architect and uh, nope, police. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna double up on the police because of these beasties. Gonna gonna cause problems. Water supply here is going to have to be way down here. I feel like we're going to put it in a spot where a farm would go. So let's say... I'm going to just place that down. Does this... does this need... does it... does it... um... What am I trying to say? Does it need a work camp, or does it just... Da, 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 da. Doesn't seem like it needs a work camp. It seems like it'll just find its own employees, so that's fine. 
Look, the road. The two, the two wide road. It seems to be working. I am, I'm shocked. Of course, there's plenty of time for this to all, all go horribly wrong, but, you know, for the moment at least, it seems to be working. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the right size. And then we're gonna put these down here. Um, that's not correct. And we're gonna do another few houses here. It does actually get its own employees, that's cool. Okay. All the more reason to have housing connected here. Um, gonna want one of these. I feel like... I feel like we are gonna want to loot this. This one in particular. We'll still have it the same distance. Uh, right there. That was a bit of a waste, but it's okay. I think that is it. One, two, three, one. Yeah, I think that's correct. I think, I think, I think, I think. Uh, I, I had a thought there for a second and then I lost it. What was I doing? Granary. We probably want the granaries close to these, don't we? Maybe down here. Let's see, if that's gonna be there... Let's say we can put one here. There's gonna be houses there. That might be not great for... Um, we can... We can... We can... Potentially... No, not potentially. We can move stuff over a little bit. As in, like, not have a house here. And that can be that, and this is gonna need a similar arrangement of these sorts of things. I think we push the housing a little further this way on this side which I don't think I'm gonna put one there because the, there could be a quarry there but there I think should be far enough away if it's not we'll we'll move the house it's not that big a deal we've we're, given given the plan we laid out last episode there's going to be so much room for housing it's not even going to be funny. We're probably not going to be going to come anywhere near using all of it. So this should be just perfectly fine. So let's say there's going to be another temple. One, two, three. And I am again going to double up on the police because I am reasonably certain that that is what they do. They um they handle the wildlife. Let's just, let's just, like, actually look. Best weapon against tomb robbers. Constables do their best against other threats like foreign invasions and wild animal attacks. A single constable, though, is ineffective against a pack of animals or a foreign army. So yeah, we're the it's we're gonna want multiples. Oops. Doesn't actually have one for like threatening stuff. 
But yeah, these things are going to be attacking the uh, ostriches. Speaking of ostriches, let's go ahead and put a couple of these puppies down. And again, that'll be a temple. Yeah, that's the right size. I'm just gonna go ahead with four to start with, like like we usually do. Um, I'm tempted to put granary here, but uh, uh, eh, no. Oh, we're gonna have to move that garden. Oh no, we're not. Never mind. Ignore me. Now we're gonna need to move that garden. So that can be one over, which is it's fine, it's whatever. Could actually, is that road? Yeah, it is. And have that be an alley. These guys still need water, which... Consider the amount of room we've got so far. I think what we might do is this continue the two by two road here, and then once we get a little further out, reduce it down to one by and and space stuff out and see how that works. Um. That'll, that'll work. That'll work right there. We might have trouble upgrading this one, so you know what? I'm going to assume we'll need more than one. Eh, we'll place it later. It's fine. Probably. Probably fine. I don't actually know if it's going to be fine. I'm going to find out. Needs more workers. Let's put let's start on this road here as well. Here which if we assume why can't you taking these supplies any further until someone's available to unload them? I mean it's partially employed, is that not enough? Guess not, okay. Well, whatever. I, do we want to try and put one here? Is this a little too close to the cliff? I don't know. Is it? I don't know how that works with the beautification. Um, let me continue this just to keep things neat and tidy. And the next road will be over here, I think. And then the next one over is going to go through there. And the, uh, the what's it, what is it called, the temple complex is going to be here-ish, I think. Not connected to that road, it's going to connect to the, be on the, be next to the next road over. And then the festival complex will be down here. Yeah, everything is seeming like it's going to be okay. Not too fond of this intersection here, but I, it's, it's whatever, because, like, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it, because we're going to need one of these at some point anyway, so we kind of need to have the space there, so, you know, it's kind of whatever. No, I forgot they're that size. Oh, but that's that's ja. Ah. Well, whatever. I I was I was just looking at this and it was like we could put another one over there. 
That'd be a good spot for it. Nope. Probably put one of these. It's gonna... I was slightly concerned thinking of putting this here because of the road, the, the back alley there. If the employer goes, you know, comes out of the building there, he ain't gonna go anywhere and isn't gonna find a house. So, yeah, no. Okay, we're starting to get pomegranates. Nice. This area down here still needs, still needs. Oof, that's a long way. Okay, well. I don't know that it's gonna matter that much if we use up some of this space for not farms. Like, I'm always of the mind that, oh, we need to cram as many farms into a particular area as we possibly can, but I mean, do we? Do we need to do that? I don't know. Maybe not, actually. There goes the pomegranates there for, for there. Um, I don't see any particular reason not to have this bazaar here for this road. And then this bazaar can probably be here. I'm thinking we might actually move this road because if we want to do pavilions over here. I, you know, actually, we could probably just, we just do that. Can they still, uh, there's, there's a, there's a roadblock there. Anyway, I will, will figure it out. I don't know. This might be as far as we want these roads to go. I'm not sure. People are very pleased. That's excellent. We're off to a half-decent start. Local religious facilities. Let's go ahead and start doing that. Who is the... 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 patron? Pata? Really? Okay. Let's do one there. And one there, and we'll get one to each of the others going just for good. That's not for crying out loud. I just, just, babe. oh, these are, these, ah, wait. Yep, I messed it up. Uh, for crying out loud. Ta, here, 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 fast, here, and I suppose we'll do another for raw, here, kind of alternate them, and each one of these roads will have one to ta, and one to one of the other ones. So guaranteed pata and I like to have a good time just like anyone else. I entertainment. Wish there were more entertainers in this we city. could put some schools up here to start with. That might be a decent idea. However. However. We have things started, right? Things are going. They're they're pr proceeding and and expanding and and doing the things that we need them to do. We need, we need to secure a decent source of income. So, if I remember correctly, nobody buys the plain stone. Right? Nobody, nobody wants it. We can only import it. That's one of the that's one of the big things that we have here as far as raw materials. We have plain stone. That's probably not just just it's not probably. It's not gonna work. So what do we do? We have we have the gold. We have the gold. Problem with this gold. Problem that I 
uh, highlighted the first time we started, right well, last episode. Just as soon as, as soon as I noticed the gold, my immediate thought was, "Wow, that is a long way away from any grassy area, and it's the grassy areas where we have to build this thing." There is no short path, which means that it's just by default going to be wasting efficiency almost certainly by the time the um delivery man gets from there to this and then back the mine is probably going to have finished the next batch and it's just going to be sitting there waiting there's nothing we can do about that though and that is a source of income so Do we do mines? Do we do mines or do we start trying to get an industry going that's going to sell something? Do people buy... We've got we've got the game meat we can export. Nobody wants pomegranates. Mm. I, we're, we've got four currently and we're kind of exploiting one block over here. There's another block down here. There is the hyena issue. There's another flock here, which we're not going to have access to for a good long while. Um, we planned to have the... that's not what I want. The fairy here and here, right? So it's like here and here. Or was it here? Uh, what? Wherever it was. It's reasonably close we could get that going pretty quick and start selling game meat problem is problem is 34 that's not very good <laughs> it's not nothing it's not nothing but it's also not very good um i believe we looked at it and gems into luxury goods is a thing but, ouch, that's kind of garbage. Flax into linen is pretty good, still. Where is the, can we sell bricks? We can export bricks. Can we make bricks? Is bricks a thing we can make? Bricks, 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 bricks. Ooh, is bricks a thing that would be because we need straw and clay both of which we need to import at least i think we're going to need to import straw straw is from you get it from i think barley uh some other crop i don't remember let's see we would pay 21 38 so that's like 59 for 120 that's not terrible actually that's a decent profit hmm grain uh, i believe grain is one of the one of the crops that that gives you straw i think i think barley you get straw from don't you I don't remember. Either way, that's 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 a potential. Another potential is barley to beer. Does anybody buy beer? Yes, people buy beer. Okay, we could do beer. That's a that's a straight up profit of a little under a hundred. That's decent. And then flax and linen, similar. Where is reeds and papyrus? Ah. That's that's the big money maker right there, isn't it? Reads to papyrus. I think we go ahead and look into that first. So, who has who has reads? Where can we find reads? I doubt it's gonna be up here. It's gonna be. It was Bedette last time, right? Yes. Abu. Sells flax, so there's a good source of flax. And then we can get wood from Salima and Ebony. 
think we open a trade route to Badat. Ah, but we're going to need to import or, or start another trade trade route with somebody else who actually buys the papyrus. You? No, of course not. Why not? Why? Why? Why would they? Uh, so I bet you and Bidet. They do the barley and the beer as well. They also buy wood, game meat. So that's potentially two things going on there. You buy bricks. Do you sell? You sell clay. Do you sell? No. Where do we get the straw? All the way down at Abu. Okay, I feel like Bedet, I bet you first things first. Yeah, 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 shut up. Oh, they need to dock. Okay, we can we can do that. Yep, yep. And I think here or here. Cause we had plans, let's see. Very I like the ferry here better because that's that's a better spot. Here, this is going to take up the whole space, whereas otherwise we could have a dock there. I think we're going to put the dock there. Dock fits here, but there's also room for two different things there. One of which can be, not that, the water lift. You can have water lift, ferry, ferry, and then ferry, ferry. Pretty sure that's the way to go. Is that a spot where we can put a water lift? No. See, this is this is frustrating. Here's another spot that is the perfect size, and I have to run a road around to it, but that's fine. Okay. So, I'm gonna run this down. Actually. Isn't that, isn't that, whoops, right next to it? That's right next to it. Perfection. Yes. Dock. Um, we might need to have housing along here. Maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Gonna need one of these. I'm gonna literally put it right next to it. Maybe not directly there, maybe a little off from it, just so that it, um, what am I trying to say? Just so that it has room for a road going that away. Now, we're going to import reeds. We're going to export papyrus. gonna do that and then we're gonna set up yeah yeah shut up we're, we're working on it we're working on it uh, da, 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 papyrus maker um how about here see no particular reason to have it anywhere else it's gonna need to be well we could put it back here people are extremely pleased that's that's encouraging Maybe we do it like this. Problem is, this is just taking a farming spot. See? I know I said that we don't need to be super fiddly about it, and, and super, like, you know, I don't know, what, what, what's the word? Really, really super keen on getting every single spot filled with a farm that can be. But at the same time... I don't want to waste space, you know? So I feel like we do the part. Well, we could do it right here. Are we gonna need more housing here? I don't know. Where is. Where. Can we have a farm here? Ooh, all the way over here. There's no way that that's gonna produce anything. 
I'm going to say that is a good spot to start it. Virus Maker. One, two, three, four. And we will put the storage yard here, like we said we were going to. And what we're going to do is we're going to get... And accept. Now I'm hoping this is this is a pretty short distance is not that big a deal however we do it but I'm hoping what's gonna happen is that this is gonna get the the reeds and offload them there immediately the worker here is then going to t say oh that storage yard wants reeds take it over there probably also over here but but take the excess over there so it's really close to these these guys, once they're finished making the papyrus, they're going to dump it into there. And then this one is going to say... Oh, 500 already. This one is going to say, ah, this one wants papyrus. Take it down there. And then it'll be a really short journey. I hope. Desirability of problems already are you for real okay well you know we could start with just plopping down a couple of shrines here and there i suppose do one or two here and there let's just let's just let's just do that to start with how are we looking? Food is food is getting places, but it doesn't seem like it's getting all the way down here very easily. I do believe that we had the thought that an additional bazaar was almost certainly going to be required. I mean, there's not that many houses in here. I don't know. We, the up an upgraded bazaar might be enough. Let's let's see. Well, I mean, there is there is we could do. How much do we have? We have four thousand. Ah. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna at least put down a juggler school. This is this is nice to live next to. Can we, can we, like, sneak it in somewhere where it'll help? No. Not easily. Maybe over here. And eh, it's fine. Um. This is, this is the big one. Okay, that's, that leaves enough space for that to be there. Boom. City needs more workers. We are actively working on it. Problem is... These things, I'm pretty sure, don't upgrade, even if they get entertainment. I don't think they upgrade until they have... Pottery. That was... that was a struggle to find that word. Uh, I just realized this one over here doesn't have a bazaar. Do we put it... Uh, I feel like it should be able to upgrade if it's here. Probably. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I just realized they're they're wandering way way out into the boonies over here. Let's let's put a stop to that. I'm not particularly sure why the bizarre lady is only getting to here on this this side of the street, but like, why why can't she go further? I'm not sure. Uh oh. Oh oh wait, did I not put? Oh, I didn't put municipal buildings on that side of the street. 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Actually, maybe not fine. Um, do we put stuff down here as well? I think we should. We're taking up space for farms! It's fine. It's fine. Oops. Oh, right. You have to, you have to go ahead and, like, unpause the thing before you can do the thing and put the thing on the thing. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> okay, we're good. We're good? I think we're good. I, I, I am more and more appreciating having the houses... Oh, well, there goes that. Having the houses, um separated by at least a block you know at least one tile because it really it really ah, there goes that as well really puts a dent in the old fire spread issue uh, I do vaguely remember on way back when I used to play this that um, that was something I ran into a lot Fire just spreading to a ridiculous degree. Well, that was 300 debands down the tubes immediately. That's, yeah, off to a great start. These are almost certainly going to have to move because we're going to need this stuff and, and this stuff down over here for these housing. For this, for the, 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 the for these houses. Yeah, these things need pottery. What's what's the sort of prices on pottery versus versus clay? Clay is cheap. Pottery is not. Yeah, we're gonna import clay and, and make our own pottery. I'm really surprised by this. I expected the luxury goods to be a really good item to to make and export, but it sure doesn't seem like it. Well, I mean, at least we're making fires, so I don't, I don't care that much that this isn't employed, but that is a slight bit annoying. It shouldn't be too far away. Let's see. My concern with this road is that they might be crossing the road too many times, but they just did there, and it doesn't seem like it's having that much of an effect. I feel like they should get over there eventually. Oh, I was following somebody else's employer. This is, this is for this. But, like... Ah, uh, the dock did have employers or employees and it doesn't anymore um hmm. this is Four. Which means that if we do put this here, there's going to be space for a house there. Just like that. And if the pavilions are there, that should be okay. I hope.
I think. Okay, he just, he just reached far enough over. Good, good, good. You want game meat, eh? Um... That's gonna be... Not super difficult. Uh... Stop file. I don't think we should run into too many issues. We've got... Well, we don't really have that much food. We need to expand the farms. We don't really have the, the people to expand the farms. We need to... Do we start the next road over already? Maybe. Probably? Possibly. Is this... let's see... One, two, three... One, two, three... here. This is where it's gonna be. Problem I'm seeing with this one in particular is that there's not gonna be an easy way to get a water carrier over there, is there? Well, I suppose there's nothing wrong with just pulling off a little bit of a bit there. Is that, is that the worst? I don't feel like it's the worst. Okay, hold on. We need to, we need to take a look at things a little more closely. Uh, let's see here. I believe this is the line where we're gonna want this, right? Should have taken some screenshots of, of that. When we, when we put all that together. I think this is right. I don't feel like it was one further over. Was it? It can't have been, because this... Did I measure wrong? Hang on a second. That's correct there. That's correct there. And the road can't be any further over this way. And then this is two here. Which allows the mines. I think that's correct. I think. Let me just put a few houses down. We'll maybe have a little bit of something. I'm not going to measure this out. I'm just going to slap them down for the moment. Get our population up just a little bit more. I feel like a back alley there is probably where we're going to want it. let's just let's just see how things shake out there We've got a whole bunch of papyrus to sell we just need this to find workers and I don't know why he isn't these houses have been moved into he should be able to reach them let's just watch see what what where he stops what his issue is hmm And then he turns around. Is that... Was that not from that? Was he... Because we just... What? 
Okay, just cross the road twice, which is not ideal. Where does he end up? No, he turned around. As a temporary measure, I'm just gonna put a house down over here. We will... It, it, your Not ideal, I don't want to do that, but it should be fine for a little while at least. Oh, it has to be in storage yards. That is so irritating. Why can't they just take it out of the stupid granary? I still, I don't understand why you would use a granary over a storage yard. I, need you, I just don't. Like, I'm half tempted to just say... We're gonna use storage yards exclusively and never use granaries anymore. You know? Like, what's the point? I don't I don't understand I don't understand, I don't see it. Not good. Two hundred and fifty. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Wait, was that? It really? Uh, what was the time? Time four months. He gave us four months. Are you serious? That's, that's, that's a little bit silly. We've just started the city and you're already demanding food from us. That doesn't seem very fair. As soon as this dock gets workers, was that not him? Maybe the house hadn't updated. Ah, there we go. Yes, finally. Okay, that should, that should, that should help the money situation. Um, still are going to want this. Is this closer to that? I mean, even if we pull a road... Let me see. There's no easy way to measure this, is there? A thousand people already. Dang. Okay, well, let's just say... This way, this way, this way, because we're probably going to put a road here, and then this way, and then over, and then there. Is this thing... Uh, what? Really? Really? Are you serious? Why? Is this another case of the stupid fire marshals not going the direction they're supposed to be? Yeah, yeah it is. That's that's exactly what it is. Simple as that. That is really, really irritating. I don't know why they refuse to go in the direction that they're supposed to. But they do. They do refuse. I'm gonna I'm gonna roadblock over here. There's no reason that he shouldn't be down here. There's no reason. Are the architects also Oh, the architects are also not What is that? 
Oh, that's a shrine. Uh, for crying out loud. Okay, well, there's that at least. There are already too few jobs. Really? Nope. Now, as I was saying, the palace. Is this is this odd or is this even? I'm pretty sure this is even. Yeah, it's even. Okay, I was gonna I was gonna say, hey, maybe we could integrated into the, the the area over here but 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 no these houses are probably actually gonna move come to think of it but that'll be fine this this line here is gonna need a rework once we start putting the big stuff in but that's not gonna happen anytime soon can we please sell our papyrus and get some money. We're we're bleeding funds. We have no income. I just realized. That would be why. Okay, we're not going to be able to do... No, we're not going to be able to do it. It's too expensive at this point. Probably the very closest is going to be down this road. Probably here-ish. I mean, oh, probably there, actually. Like... Oh, it can be all the way over to here? I might move that farm. It's only 48% fertile. That might be worth doing. I'm not sure. But we're going to have to wait for the next trader. I don't know how long it takes them to come. Okay, well, I think. Oh, wait. There, there we go. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade. You bought papyrus, yes. All right. Well, with with a trader coming to. Oh, they only buy four hundred at a time, don't they? Right. That's that. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Either way, with with trader coming in to slightly relieve our our financial situation, I think that's going to do it. We have the the start of a city here. It's it's I'm not really sure if it's going well, but it is going. Yeah, there's a papyrus there. Gotten up to twelve hundred. Is that is that it? What a bountiful journey. Yeah, that's it. You buying more? I love the art of the deal. No. I can't wait to trade my supplies. Well I guess that's fine. Hey, I thought I said what No, no, no. Get get out, out, out. But yeah, um I think next episode we're gonna need to start up the mines. I was a little I was a little overzealous in trying to follow the plan from last episode and I think we went a little bit too far. 
Speaking of going too far, I just realized these guys are wandering way out in the boonies over there. Did we by chance? No, we didn't. Why? Why? I guess we're gonna have to have fire marshals at either end. That's frustrating. Wait, there he is. Mmm, I still don't like it. I still don't like it. Yeah, we're probably gonna need... I might just extend the roads all the way and then put fire marshals and architects down here. But yeah, that is gonna do it for this episode. Oh, I felt we're, we're buying reeds. Why would you... Well... I guess more reeds equals more fires equals more... Profit? Question mark? As long as it keeps... Sold 1100? Why? I thought it was 400 e at a time. How? What? Okay, that's just confusing now. Oh, well, whatever. I don't know. Either way, that's gonna do it. So I will say thank you for watching. Take care. And farewell. I can't believe these two wide roads are actually working. They definitely have problems, but they seem to actually be working. I don't know why we came. This city never trades, and the short leave is pouring. I don't know why we came. This city never trades, and the short leave is pouring.